Hey, it's Coffee Radio, and joining me live from, from El Pollo Fino is Francis Capra. Francis, I'm super excited, man. It's super dope to see you here yep. with all the movies that you've done from Bronx Tale, Free Willy, uh, Kazam, uh, Veronica Mars, everything that you've done, man. It's super cool to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I have to ask, I mean, with doing a Bronx Tale it's so young, what was that like to work with Robert De Niro as, at the same time he's also directing the film? Right, right. Um, that, that's a great question. A lot of people... Um, Sometimes forget that this was his first direct, uh, directorial. I remember, uh, I, I, what I say to everybody is, I wish I could go back in time and be me now and be doing this movie today and, and be uh, doing it as an adult because I was just a kid. Uh, the first thing that pops in my mind when I, when I think about this set is uh, uh, comic books. Uh, Spawn had just come out right at that time. And um, my mom used to take me to the comic book store right right before I got to set. And uh, I was just, I was, I was, uh, I think one of the appealing things about me for this role was I was a real kid. Um, I was a real smart ass. Um, I didn't have a, 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 I didn't have my father in my life, but I had a lot of powerful men a lot of New York Italians in my life uh, <laughs> that I emulated, and I think that came across. Um, but being with Bob, that, that's the only, I never knew him as Robert De Niro, I only knew him as Bob. That's so cool. Um, yeah, and, and Bob and Chaz were like having the two greatest father figures in my life, and, and they followed me throughout my career. I've always felt that the, the specter of them has been, been around in my career. I've always wanted to make them proud of me. And uh, yeah, I, I hate to color, color the story too much because I, I turned eight on this movie, so I don't have too much uh, amazing stories about, about the production. Yeah. It's all from the view of an eight-year-old kid. Yeah, you're a kid at the time, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I mean, you're still a kid when you do Free Willy 2. That was yeah, also yeah. a big movie. Yeah. People forget how huge that was in the 90s, Free Willy, and mm -hmm. you know, that was ginormous. Uh, was it crazy like that, dealing with the... Uh, the animals, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was. With, it was that one. I, have, I, I that one. I was. A, I grew up a little bit more. Um, I think I was around ten years old on that film. That was our, my family's first uh, foray out of the Bronx and uh, into a place called the San Juan Islands. Um, that was amazing. The, the whales were unfortunately animatronic, but they oh, were okay. amazing to work with. Um, that was the first time I went on tape. I actually just I just put it on Twitter the other day that I was I was going to audition for a Street Fighter reality show, and it was the first time that I I, I would have gone on tape for something that hadn't come through my manager. Um, so it was nerve wracking going from a Bronx Tale, and uh, Bronx Tale was like the uh, the lottery ticket in the Bronx where I came from, and so. Uh, uh, Everyone in my neighborhood was going up for that movie. Everybody <laughs> wanted to be in that movie, and I was the kid, you know. So, um, Free Willy Two was like the the, um, the sophomore jinx, I guess, could have happened. But it proved that I that I actually know a little bit about this acting thing, and I could do it. Or as Bob used to say, that I had natural talent, and uh, yeah, always tried to tried to harness that natural talent for the last thirty years. That's super dope, man. <laughs> uh, moving on. You know, that you did Kazam with, with Shaq. Was it crazy doing a movie with Shaq with the time? Is you know, a yeah, couple yeah. first roles, the steel thing that was happening, you know? Mm -hmm. And then plus there's that, like, I don't know if urban legend's the right word, but that thing that people think they remember Kazam with Sinbad. Does that ever trip you out? You're the one this who's guy right here. Yeah, my friends, my friends are always teasing me. Tomas, my friend Tomas right here, uh, he was actually on my Twitch stream a while ago, and some guy comes in the chat and starts arguing with me, like passionately arguing with me that I was covering up my, my participation in Shazam and that Kazam never happened and Shazam is the real movie. I don't know where that came from, but it freaks me out. My mom played a trick on me the other day. I called my mom and I said, Mom, you know, there's this thing happening online about Shazam and Kazam. And my mom was like, what are you talking about? We never did a movie called Kazam. Uh. Called Shazam. My mom starts messing with me. So I don't know what's real anymore, but I, a funny story is I met Sinbad while I was shooting Kazam. Oh, he what? was he was at a um, at um, at a place called the Good Guys, the Good Guys across the hotel that I was staying at in Kazam, and we were arguing about apples versus PC. Um, but anyway, let me get back to Shaquille. Shaquille O'Neal, my big brother. Um, he's the reason I moved to California. He uh, he's the reason I'm a fighting game fan. Um, he used to come over and. When I had no friends out here, I was just a 13-year-old kid just trying to like learn California way from, from, from being a Bronx kid. He used to come over like my big brother and play video games with me. Um, when I met him, I knew right away that at the time I was up for a movie called Jack with uh, Francis Ford Coppola and Robin Williams. Oh, wow. And I was going to be in that film. I turned that film down. I know, I actually 
can say I turned down the incredible Francis Ford Coppola, <laughs> but I turned him down because I had fallen in love with Shaquille O'Neal, and I couldn't envision any any world where I wasn't working on Kazam. And I and I and I know I made the right choice. Maybe not turning down Francis Ford Coppola, but, <laughs> but working on that film and meeting Shaquille was one of the greatest experiences ever. So dope, man. And lastly, I have to ask: you also did Veronica Mars. You played yes. the role of Weevil. Uh, recurring character, super long, super dope that a lot of people like. What are your kind of memories from doing that? Oh my gosh, now that I have real tangible memories. Uh, there you go. Veronica Mars was my first time, um, I think, uh, really solidifying my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my place, I think, as an actor and, 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 and uh, proving that I can build a character or, or at least follow direction for 60 or something episodes in uh, a fourth season, a movie. Um, Veronica Mars saved my life. I was being a knucklehead kid at the time, running around. I didn't know if I wanted to be the Dominican Tupac or if I wanted to be, you know, this or that. I had, I had all these, these. Uh, I wanted to be a rapper at the time. I didn't know anything, but Veronica Mars came in my life and really centered me and reminded me that this is what I want to do. I want to be an actor, and um, and uh, I'm just so fortunate that uh, that Rob Thomas and uh, the CW. Well, first UPN believed in me, then the CW, and then Warner Brothers and uh, uh, CBS. We've had so many different companies. Now Hulu. We've had like all these great people believe in the show and believe in me, and uh, I'm just so fortunate to have been a part of, of, of that and working with KB, Jason Doring, an ensemble cast. Um, I uh, yeah, I, I, I thank God every day that I stumbled into that uh, audition room on Veronica Mars, and it turned into my whole life. That's so cool, man. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming down here to El Pollo Fino. Uh, I want people to keep up with you. Where can they follow you out on social media? Oh, I, I'm uh, at Francis Capra on Twitter. Um, I'm on uh, Twitch as well. I'm going to start streaming more, I promise. Um, uh, Twitch uh, C7, uh, Twitch TV slash C7. Um, but Twitter Twitter or X is where I'm on, on mostly. Uh, yeah, that's where you can find me. Thank you so much, Francis. I don't want to take up too much of your time. No problem. Thank you so much, man.